plastic and construction wastes are some of the enormous waste generated in India. And most of this waste goes in dump yards and water bodies harming not just humans, but wildlife and aquatic life too. A young innovator named Kunchpreet has come up with a unique solution for it in the form of Angiras. Angiras provides eco-friendly and sustainable technology to make bricks and paver blocks. Its products are made from 100% recycled plastic waste and industrial waste using their patented green waste management technology to convert non-recyclable plastics into bricks. These high quality bricks are damp proof, lightweight and require no waterproofing. They are durable, that means no cost of repair involved. Also, it reduces the overall cost of construction by 20% as their material is derived from the waste. With thousands of brick kilns darting the skyline across the country, brick industry has become a large source of air pollution. It consumes and degrades tons of soil, fuel and water. This is one set of problem. Another set of problem is the waste emanating from construction or demolition coupled with other solid waste like plastics ending up in dump yards and even water bodies harming our environment in a big way. It takes a very ingenious mind to put together two sets of problem and turn this into a solution. Today we have with us one such person who did just that and came up with a functional eco-friendly building material. Welcome Gunshpreet Arora, co-founder, CEO of Angris. Please tell us something about you and your startup. Yeah. Uh, hi, Selva Rani. Thank you so much uh, uh, for having me here. My name is Gunshpreet Arora and I'm the co-founder at Angiras and the Private Limited. Angiras is a circle economy startup that makes lightweight and damp proof bricks using 100% recycled waste material. Uh, me and my co-founder Lokesh, we both are civil engineer graduates and we started this uh, working on this innovation since we were uh, doing completing our graduation and currently we are at uh, product validation stage at pallet stage and moving towards the growth stage. Yeah, that's great. Uh, what are the problems that you are solving or addressing through your innovation and why the name Angiris? Yes. So, uh, with our innovation, we are targeting to solve two major problems. One is the problem of single-use plastic waste, which ends up in the uh, water bodies or on the roadside or further uh, in the landfills or either in the cement factories for burning. Uh, while many of us are not aware of the another big problem is of the brick and industry, uh, which contributes to up to the 9% of the carbon emission produced in India. And this is highly dependent upon the natural resources like fertile soil, water, and coal. And highly uh, seasonal dependent labor uh, requires a lot of uh, labor and exploit child labor as well. So we have developed a technology uh, to replace these brickens and use these uh, recycled waste material as an alternative to these natural resources to manufacture building materials like bricks and paper blocks. Why name Angiras? Because Angiras was the name of the sage who invented bricks in India, and this is uh, during uh, this is even before the uh, Mohenjo-daro era. And we here we wanted to revolutionize this uh, uh, this industry, and we dedicated the company after his name. That's really interesting. How did you get drawn towards waste management sector, and what was the motivation behind your startup? Right, so uh, startup was not a career plan for us, it just uh, happened to be like that. Uh, so we come from a city called Udaipur, uh, it's a, such a beautiful uh, city surrounded with uh, Aravli hills and uh, lakes, uh, it's also called the lakes uh, city of India. Uh, but growing up in this city, we used to observe a lot of uh, plastic waste such as like plastic bottles, uh, plastic wrapper, poly bags. Uh, lying around these lake side or on the road side or either ends up in the landfills around these uh, in, in, in between the Aravli hills. So that was the uh, uh, motivation that we uh, started with. We thought why, what if, if we use this waste material such as for making let's say walls. So and coming from the construction background we understand the procedure, the problems, challenges and the standard practices 
of making a, uh, a civil structure so we thought like let's try making something and utilizing this waste into building material and we started with eco bricks uh, small cubes which gives us very good results and validated the product throughout uh, the process which gives us a promising result as well that's really inspiring you started working on this product from smart india hackathon please share your experience in participation in smart india hackathon and how the participation in sah help you in development of your idea sure so uh, we developed the first prototype in uh, 2019 and and then, uh, and then when we uh, participated in smart india hackathon in hardware edition under the waste management uh, sector and uh, my experience was tremendous it was our first experience uh, uh, of validating the idea validating the solution with the stakeholders who were present uh, during those 5 days or 6 days of the uh, uh, program and we were in an it trichy for the the, whole, the program and there were industrialists mentors professors academics from the academy of background and we were given the access to the laboratory and the uh, industrial experts to validate the idea and and do the uh, continuous improvement throughout the those 5 to 6 days and also uh, it was because coming up from the technical background we lack some business knowledge and um, we we were given the opportunity to interact with the business mentors as well there so it was really a great experience learning experience and i will also say it's an eye opening experience because we are only focusing on the technical aspect but also now we uh, started focusing uh, on the business aspect of the part and we again went back to do the more uh, product validation uh, interacting with the customers and um, a continuous improvement in the product okay great you are the winner of the uh, smart india hackathon edition other than a uh, prize money what other support have you received from smart india hackathon right so uh, when we after winning uh, uh, we won uh, the second prize in the sih hardware hackathon when we went back we realized there is something that we still lack there is something still needs to validate in the market and with continuous validation uh, we got selected for the another seed funding to for the uh, to the sih only which was uh, the 10 lakh grant uh and uh, uh, through our incubator only uh with the help of that initial funding we continue the development uh, the building of the technology to convert this waste into building materials and after a certain period of time i applied to a lot of app, uh, funding programs and accelerator programs and got shortlisted in some of them which was uh, the dsts nidhi priyas the startup india uh, seed fund support as well and also couple of uh, corporate csr funding as well and last year we also raised pre seed funding which was led by the iie at am amtabad and couple of angel investors uh, so far we have raised around 1 crore of pre seed funding and in couple of months like the four or five months we will be opening for the next seed round as well that's uh, interesting how have you done your product validation and what suggestion will you give to budding entrepreneurs for the importance of product validation sure uh, so definitely we have done the uh, product validation uh, continuously uh, uh, with developing the product talking to a lot of potential customers industrialists stakeholders who are continuous support of in continuous uh, in, in touch of these products and at the early stage it's important to create a working product rather than the best product in order to quickly validate your hypothesis and without wasting a lot of time and resources and i see uh, in young entrepreneurs who are filled with energy uh, thinking that they are going to create best product without working on idea validation and platforms like sih is a perfect way for young entrepreneurs to build something meaningful in short span of time and also continue validating it and uh, yes i'll encourage uh, budding entrepreneurs uh, to participate in hackathon and sih programs where you learn the vital skill of idea validation rapid prototyping and which are very important um, uh, if you have just started yeah that's very right. clear so you said the product validation is an essential step uh, so that uh, if the innovator is doing at early stage they can uh, they can avoid the potential uh, losses as well as their failures that's right and uh, right. what is your uh, usp like unique uh, selling proposition how do you stand apart from others in the sector 
Right. So, uh, if we compare with the traditional clay brick or uh, some other bricks in the market, we see that our product bricks is up to 20-30 percent lighter in weight. That helps in reducing the overall structural cost, and that ultimately saves the uh, construction cost for the end customers. And also, one of the major challenge that it solves is the water leakage, the efflorescence, and the dampness issue that are being faced in the coastal areas or in the agricultural land. And we have people like uh, the common people like us ends up spending thousands of rupees in the repairment and maintenance. So this brick uh, particularly does not allow water to pass from one end to another, and that saves a lot of uh, dam proofing and expensive waterproofing cost as well. So these are the two uh, uh, major uh, benefits, the value proposition that we provide. And given this value proposition, uh, bricks uh, so, uh, saves up to 20% of the construction cost in the whole uh, construction project. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you said about a lot of uh, uh, fund you raised from different uh, departments and uh, other sectors. Can you just uh, brief about how much fund you have raised so far and brief about the process of fundraising? Yes, so the process of fundraising is not very uh, easy uh, it, because uh, now it's also getting very competitive as the, uh, uh, the government is encouraging a lot of uh, startups as well. So, uh, but there are still a lot of programs uh, by the central government or the state government and also the CSR funding by the corporates where startups who are uh, just have started can apply to these funding programs, the grants, small grants to do the fraud validation initially. Uh, these are the programs such as like Nidhi Priyas or uh, the Startup India has come up with uh, recent funding programs, Startup India seed fund support as well. Uh, so these are a lot of uh, programs which are coming up as well. And uh, we have to, uh, till they uh, raise more than around one CR of uh, PC funding, which is both equity grants and also we have on couple of prize money as well. Congratulations on your successful fundraising. Your innovative ideas and vision have captured the imagination of investors and I have no doubt that you will continue to make waves in your industry. Gunjpreet, please tell us what impact does your product make in achieving sustainable development goal? Right. So, uh, the per unit brick, if I talk in unit, uh, the per unit brick uh, recycle or upcycle up to 20-25% of the plastic, single use plastic waste and the rest is the industrial waste. So, till date we have recycled more than 6 ton of plastic waste by manufacturing 7-8 thousand of units of bricks and also 16-18 thousand of the industrial waste. And this aligns with the SDG Sustainable Development Goal number 12 which says sustainable consumption and production. And also by replacing bricks with the, uh, by replacing clay bricks with the bricks, it also reduces the carbon emission because the clay bricks are uh, uh, are uh, responsible for the emission of up to 400, 400 grams of the carbon emission. So this also aligns with the uh, sustainable development goal number thirteen, which says the climate change. And in near future, we also plan to create uh, to generate uh, uh, more and more employment in tier 1, tier 2 cities by setting up our plants, uh, uh, manufacturing plants in these area and create livelihood as well. Your ambitious goals for the future are truly inspiring. By aiming to recycle more than 190k tons of waste and reduce carbon emissions by 30.4k tons while also creating direct employment for over 2000 people, you are setting an example for others to follow. Thank you for your dedication to sustainability and for your commitment to making a positive impact on our planet. I am sure you must have received a lot of accolades and recognitions. Could you please share a few? Sure. Uh, so, we have received a lot of uh, recognition and have been featured on the national and international uh, platforms as well. So the recent, uh, uh, just yesterday only, we've been featured by the Forbes India as well. Uh, uh, so this is one of the most wow. uh, 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 recognition that so far that we have achieved. Uh, last year, we were the winner of the uh, Global Plastic Challenge by the Uplink World Economic Forum. And we are also the top innovator as well. Uh, we also won the Sustainable Consumption and Production 
uh, award at switch uh, at asia pacific housing forum by switch asia and habitat for humanity also i am the winner of the uh, thai university global pitch competition where more than 1400 startups participated across 30 countries so these are the few of them uh, and we are looking for more uh, such platforms who can support us yeah, great great congratulations on this well deserved recognition may your success continue to grow and your future be filled with even more achievements what do you consider to be your greatest strength as an entrepreneur how do you leverage that strength to benefit your company sure so i feel at early stage when uh, you are such a young entrepreneur i feel like uh, your team is your greatest strength uh when you don't have that much of skills and uh, experience and you just started after your college so the team that you are uh, sub that are supporting you is your greatest strength because that are the one who will support you in your hard times and also in your best time as well and these are the people you are you are building such a big uh, that will gonna be a big organization in the future so i feel like yes the team and also the family support is one of the greatest uh, strength for me so far Thank you for sharing your uh, perspective on your greatest strength as an entrepreneur. Keep up the great work. Can you tell me about a challenge you faced as a new entrepreneur and how you overcame it? And what advice would you give to someone who is considering starting their venture? Sure. Uh, so one of the challenges that we faced is the, uh, uh, the lack of the business knowledge that we coming from the technical background or always face that uh, so i feel like because i have been part of such programs the accelerator programs at and and other corporates so that gives me uh, after some period of time that helped me building the growth strategies uh, doing the business model validation and all other business aspect of the uh, uh, the whole product the solution uh, and another challenge that i faced initially was uh, raising uh, some small amount of funding through grants or equity in initial level when you don't have that much of data to validate your products right so uh, i would advise uh, to the budding entrepreneurs to young generation to keep applying to such such programs and definitely like one of them you can uh, definitely convert and that will help you in uh, in your success journey and also doing the product validation when you are uh, you have you are at especially at idea uh, ideation stage how do you think the environment has changed in the country for women entrepreneurs is it friendlier are there are still some obstacles are stereotypes sure so uh, i have been in this industry since uh, three or four years now and initially i have also faced some challenges especially for the women in uh, in business and especially in the construction industry but now i have seen like a lot of programs that are coming up by the government and the private organization which are only women focused and in fact there are venture capitalists who invest only on the women led startups or the companies which are benefiting the uh, women in particular in rural and creating livelihoods so i feel like uh, these all stakeholders coming up together there are uh, things now changing uh, and we as a women who just have started can uh, uh, can open the path for the for the next generation to follow it and solve the challenges that we have faced so that they don't have to go through the same uh, challenges and issues yeah that's great to listen from a uh, woman entrepreneur uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience and insights on the challenges uh, you faced as a new entrepreneur your story is truly inspiring i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and hope your story in- inspires many others to take environment friendly initiatives thank you gunshpreet thank you once again i wish you all the best thank you so much selva rani and i'm really grateful to sih and aicd uh because this is the one of the uh, beginning angiras and for ourselves as well when we started with thank you so much for having me here reusing non recyclable materials reduces demand for new resources and helps to reduce the amount of waste in landfills it also helps to reduce the amount of energy used to create new materials as recycled materials typically require less energy to produce than new ones we wish gunjpreet and her team all the best and hope their story inspires many others 
to take environment friendly initiatives. That's all for now. We'll be back with another edition of Changemaker. Thanks for watching.